This is by far the easiest way to try out different AIs. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? Today, we're going to look at the new Pinocchio 2 release that dropped yesterday. Here's how to install that and how to use it. So the first thing you want to do is to go to the GitHub page and there you have the releases. I will link this below my video here. You want to scroll down a little bit. You want to look at the version that you need. For example, here I downloaded the Windows 32 version for my Windows 11. You download that and then you unpack the zip file and then you simply install it like a normal software. Super easy. If you have no AI set up so far, it will do everything for you. Set up the Conda and download the CUDA files. Everything you need is done for you. This is really super easy. If you scroll down a little bit more, you can see here also the highlights of the Pinocchio version 2 release what the specials are. One of the biggest things that stands out here is you have a zero click launch, which means you can start the UI from your browser through a link. You don't have to even start the software or anything like that. Before you install that, one thing I want to point out here is if you have already installed version one, you can't move the files because this is going to break the UIs within the folder. So the important thing to remember here is you have to install it into the same folder you have already installed version one. And also inside of version one, there is no way to update from there. You have to download the new version and install it from that file. After you've installed everything, you are inside of the program, which you start like a normal software. You have up here that little house on the top left where you can click. It gives you the overview. You can see I have already installed three different UIs. On the top right, you see Discover, which is the page I just showed you. There you can find the verified scripts and I would highly advise you to stick with them for the moment. There's also community scripts. You can use them, but even the developer suggests to you to only use them if you know who has created these community scripts, because right now there is no safety check on the community scripts of what they actually download and what they actually install for you. For the verified scripts, you can be sure that this is safe and good to use. And here you have a lot of different things to pick from. You can choose between all kinds of different amazing AIs, creating images and audio and video and all kinds of other things. So you can really play around, try out all the things you ever wanted to try. And this is installing everything for you that you need to run these models by simply clicking on it. So for example, if I want to have here the Stable Diffusion Web UI, I would click on that and then click here on download. This would start then. Let's do that real quick. You can see here automatic 1111 Git. I click here on download. It starts the process for me. And then you have here install. When you click on that, this is bringing you to this window. And inside of that window, you can see it is already starting to install everything for me, downloading all the files I need to run automatic 1111 inside of Pinocchio. So this is really, really easy. And if you don't need it anymore, let's say here, for example, I don't want it. I click here on stop. I can click here on delete and this will then delete the folder and everything inside of it so that I have a clean drive again. So you can experiment and really have fun with that. One thing I want to point out here to you, if you encounter any kind of problems, if you have any kind of questions, I would suggest you click up here on the community button. This will show you that you can go to Discord where there's a very friendly and open community. Also, the developer is very responsive. And then also you can reach out to them on X. And another thing I want to point out to you is that the developer wants to start a project that is similar to the Comfy Org. It's called the Pinocchio Factory. So if you feel able or you want to help to bring this alive, to have a active community around Pinocchio, reach out to them on their Discord and see if you can help that.
Now, as I told you before, you can also start the UIs from your browser. So here I've entered Magnet and you can see here localhost API magnet.git start js when i click on that this will load the ui like a normal website which is really amazing so you have here the command window and once this has finished loading either it will open a second tab for you with the ui or you can click here on that link for the url and you can see this is then loading the ui that i in this case can use to create music with these different kind of models. The interesting thing here is also when I select these different models and they are not downloaded yet. In this case, this is automatically downloaded for me. And also for the magnet UI, you want to scroll down here because there you have different examples for the models, but then also for the steps and the different other settings and how they work best with these kind of models. So this is a good starting point if you want to play around with this music AI. And this only leaves one question. Have you left a like and subscribed to my channel yet? Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.